Hi everyone, I'm Nick O'Malley here with MassLab.com, here with Matt Votor, and we're here with Yucha and Misun from Hot Dog Annie's in Leicester, Massachusetts. This is stop number one of the Eastern Mass leg of our Best of Mass trips, and we're trying out some hot dogs today, and we want to ask you, what makes Hot Dogs Annie special? First of all, we put in a lot of love. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we have a special tea, uh, it, it's called... Um, what is a barbecue sauce but mm -hmm. we make we put in a lot of love to it it's a take all day project mm -hmm. so you know it's our specialty and we all everybody will treat like a family you know? <laughs> <laughs> everybody knows that again do you yeah. get a lot of people that come in a oh, couple times a week a lot of the same oh, people yeah. a lot of people come in telling us oh 50 years ago hot dog used to be like a 12 for dollar you know, <laughs> we have a lot yeah oh, long time customers yeah. uh what's the most amount of hot dogs you've ever seen someone eat in one sitting? I don't know about they're eating alone, but like uh, sometimes like a three dozen, you know, wow. they got older, like, but I don't think so they're eating alone, but I, I do see one person ordering all by yourself like a uh, eight. So I don't know they're eating all by themselves. They came alone, so I don't know. You know? <laughs> I didn't see them go out there after them, so I'm not positive. Does this feel like a Leicester institution that pe people have lived in Leicester a long time kind of cherish it? I think so, yeah. Even like uh, people move back to like uh, Los Angeles or uh, uh, California or uh, what is it? Where is it? This? <laughs> anyway, they come and say, I, I have to take this sauce. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How long have you guys been here? I've been here How long is like Hot Dogs Annie hot dog been here? Annie's, I think so, over 65 years, they're mm -hmm. saying. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And then you guys have a specialty root beer? Yeah. And it's root beer, and uh, oh, you didn't get it, but we have also oh, cream, the cream soda. Cream well. sodas, yeah. I've only had one sip so far, but this is a good root beer. It is good root beer. Mm -hmm. uh, Matt was saying earlier, root beer in a glass bottle is a, it's an American institution. Yes. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, combines pretty well with hot dogs. Yeah, and uh, so we've been asking everyone, what's the weirdest thing you've ever had someone request be on a hot dog? Well, we have a very simple anyway, mm -hmm. but. Most uh, regular customer knows what we have, but some people come in lettuce, tomato. <laughs> <laughs> so, no. Okay, so I think we're about ready to try these things out. Uh, okay. Thank you very much for uh, having us out, and um, very excited to try the hot dogs. All right, thank you. Nice right. to meet you guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we've got the box ready. I'm going barbecue. All right, I'm also excited about this barbecue sauce. This is a. Uh, we only tried one other place that did barbecue sauce, and the the buns are a little, little toasted. Um, yes. I, I do like how the whenever the buns get a little love. So uh, hot dog cheers. Mm. That's good. Yep. We discussed this yesterday about the idea of barbecue sauce on hot dogs because you know what barbecue sauce is good on that everything. On everything. So I'm surprised more people don't do it on hot dogs. And I'm glad they do because this is really good. Yeah, that, it's 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 something. Once you've had barbecue sauce on a hot dog, you wonder why you haven't had barbecue sauce on a hot dog before. Yeah. The fact that they make their own barbecue sauce is proof, and you can actually smell the barbecue sauce as you're walking in, which which is kind of a, a neat feature. Yeah, and like they have it in little tins, and like you look inside the barbecue sauce tin, I'm like, ooh, that's oh, that's been cooking. Like, oh, that's that's good <laughs> stuff right there. So I'm excited. So um, what I'll do as well is um, bring you guys inside and yeah. you guys as in the viewers, yeah. you all, and show them what it's looking like while Nick and Matt go ahead and start getting their judging notes down really quick. Yeah. And then we'll come back and wrap up with you. Yeah. Sounds yeah. good. Okay. Thanks. See you soon, guys. Right. So it's a laundry, everyone. I didn't get to introduce myself because I'm behind the camera. But yeah, so I'm at Hot Dog Annie's in Leicester right now. And it's kind of tucked away. It is on a main road, but if you weren't going this way, you would definitely obviously not end up anywhere near it. So it was established in 1949. That is their sign right there. And then they also have, you know, things like their menu out here, but the prices aren't there. So it hasn't been updated in a little bit. Um, but yeah, so they have free Wi-Fi. They've been featured in some other um, media organizations before. Let me show you guys the front sign. So uh, here is the road that it's off of that I was mentioning. So if you're driving on this road, you're going to see it. It's front and center. And there's a hot dog Annie sign. 
there you go and I'm gonna bring you guys inside really quick just to show you what it looks like it's a pretty small place I love that location hi Nick <laughs> I love these small intimate like hot dog joints So this is what it looks like inside. And here's their sign. So hot dog is 170. The barbecue hot dog is 190. They got cheeseburgers, hamburgers. If you want any additional toppings, like you know, relish, onions, all that stuff, it's an additional charge. And there's the green soda and the root beer that they were talking about that comes in the glass bottle. That's two dollars and thirty cents. Uh, while we were in here ordering, we saw some people get hot dogs and uh, chips. So it seems like that specialty lunch thing. Ooh, someone says they've been going. Brian has been visiting since 1973. So this is what it looks like inside. Very small, very quaint, nice little location. Two entrances, you know, quick grab and go spot. This is not a place to really uh, sit down on the inside and eat but there's plenty of seating outside, which makes it awesome, especially for like seasonal places like this. There's a bunch of uh, parking and a bunch of bench seating. Right over here. And there goes your best and mass hot dog judges, Nick and Matt, writing some notes down as they're eating their hot dogs. What's cool is that this place has been here for over 65 years, but they've also, you know, tried to stay modern by having a whole Wi-Fi area outside, uh, which I feel like a lot of restaurants that were built recently try to stay away from that besides those, you know, little things on the tables where kids can play. But the having a Wi-Fi area outside is really nice and cute. Um, makes for good sitting and working and chatting with your friends. The picnic tables are um, embossed or engraved, actually, with where they're from in Rutland. So yeah, let's see what uh, Nick and Matt are thinking now before we wrap up. Any last words? I like the bun. I really like the barbecue sauce, and I like the hot dogs. So. Yeah. This is this is your classic hot dog uh, roadside stand. This is this is the type of place that. Uh, the people people find and come back to absolutely okay it's a great way to start day two yes. great way to start day two that sounds like a plus absolutely all right guys so we are going to be at four stops for the rest of the day yep and so this is the second day of judging so four stops uh make sure to check uh, we'll have the results up on tuesday we'll have some mini results up by on uh, friday and monday but until then make sure to keep an eye out for me and matt as we finish up the rest of judging today and thanks for tuning in